you just tapped into the group chat live in the Bleacher Report app presented by FanDuel. I'm Greg Ivory alongside the lovely Liv Moods. Liv, it's the holiday season. Are you excited for this week of NBA basketball? I am. I'm excited to give out picks. It's the season of giving. And Charles Barkley and FanDuel are also in the giving spirit as well. They've teamed up to give away over $7 million in gifts to FanDuel customers through December 27th. So get on FanDuel and look for odds boosts, same game parlays, specials, and more. It's the season of giving. So let's cash out. Head to the FanDuel Sportsbook. It is the season of giving. We're always in the giving mood here, Liv. We are always in the giving mood, but in the holiday spirit, we're giving away locks, we're giving away hoodies, and we're giving away jerseys today. So please, get in the comments. I need gifts, I need emojis, but most importantly, guys, I need winners only. Please go ahead, type it out if you guys want. Actually, the producer just whispered into my ear, Greg, give away a hoodie. So I'm in the comments. I am in the comments right now, Liv, giving away hoodies. I see BR Bet in the comments. Shout out to you guys. All right, here we go. Jacob Kearns. Jacob Kearns says, take two things tonight. He says, takes the Lakers or the, oh, he says two things, Lakers or Map. I don't know if you're telling us to take either or, brother, but guess what? Doesn't matter. You are walking away with the hoodie. All right, Liv. It is Tuesday. It's TNT Tuesday. Fans Bull is, Fan Duel is boosting the 3 by 2 in both games, making it 3 by Tuesday. The question is, will there be two three-pointers in the first three minutes of the game? The 3 by 2 cash. Yes, it cashed last week in the Warriors-Knicks game. Just like me and Liv told y'all, we told y'all I would. Let's take a look. There it is. You guys know who this is. I call him 30. There it is from the top. That was a tie right there. That was a tie. And then we got the former warrior right here, Alex Burke from the wing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The three by two cashed easily last week. And today we asked you on Twitter, which three by two will cash tonight? Will it be? The Pacers taking on the Heat, or will it be the Suns taking on the Lakers? Here are the current results. Ooh, wow, that 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 was impressive. I mean, the, the Phoenix Suns and the Lakers is uh, winning this one by a landslide. I would say, uh, lift both three by twos are in plus money. Which one do you like the best? I personally like fading the public on this one, which is either a good thing or a bad thing depending on the night, but I kind of like riding with the Pacers and the Heat in this one. Both Phoenix and the Lakers guard the three better than both the Pacers and the Heat. The Heat allow the third most threes, and although they're missing quite a few guys tonight, they still have Duncan Robinson and Kyle Lowry, who would have cashed this three by two in the last game against the Pacers because they each had a three before that first three minutes was up. So I actually like fading the public here, but I'd love to know how you feel about it. Yes, we always have interesting stacks, interesting takes when it's regarding the three by two because it's an interesting bet. It's two threes in the first three minutes. It's very unique. Uh, Liv, let's see what the people are riding with. I am in the comments. I got BR Bet in the comments. They said Suns, Lakers, they are fading you, Liv, unfortunately. Uh, Landon is also going with the Suns, Lakers. Well, they're not fading you because we're riding both three by twos. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're just leaning the other way. So there, there's no fading going on here. Shout out to Landon. Shout out to BR Betting. Uh, I got one more in me, one more in me. Kirk says, the Suns is a lock into hammer it. So Suns Lakers is a lock to hammer it. So it's apparent. It is apparent. We are all riding the Suns and the Lakers three by two. But live, don't feel no type of ways. Don't feel no, hard no type of animosity or anything. No hard feelings <laughs> because we are also riding with Indiana in the Miami Heat uh, three by two. Why not sprinkle on both? All right. We want your player point picks for the Suns and the Lakers game. Get, so get in the comments and tell us what you guys think. Let's take a look at the current odds, Liv. What do you like here? 
So I'm actually liking two plays. I am really liking Jay Crowder over nine and a half points tonight. He is 13 points the last time these two teams met. The Lakers also allowed the fourth most points to that power forward position, an average of 22 and a half. And Crowder has hit this over in six of the last eight. I also like Russell Westbrook over 19 and a half points tonight. He scored 15 the last time he played Phoenix and there's no AD tonight. So I think Westbrook has a lot more opportunities to get some buckets here. The Suns also give up an average of 23 points to the opposing point guard. So I like Westbrook to have a night. Liv likes Russ to have a night, Liv. And uh, I think I'm going to piggyback with you. Simply because you mentioned there's no AD. So we all know what Brody likes to do when he, he has to be the guy. He usually steps up to the plate and becomes aggressive. So I think he's going to be real aggressive tonight, scoring the ball and passing the ball. So I'm going to go with Brody over 19 and a half points. Uh, we're going to lock that one in. I'm in the comments. I want to see what you guys are talking about. Uh... Syrah, Syrah Johnson said, watch out for Monk. Watch out for Monk on the Lakers. Okay, like the curveball there. Uh, Wes Miller says, give him Book and Jay with the over. Uh, D Book and my man Jay Crowder. Uh, he's rocking with you, Liv. So shout out to you, Wes and Syrah. I got one more. I got one more in me. Carlos Moo says, has Crowder over nine points? and D-Book, of course. So he's rocking with Crowder. He's rocking with D-Book. Shout out to everybody that I mentioned. You guys are walking away with hoodies. Liv, it's my favorite part of the show. Let's talk major markets, money lines against the spreads, and point totals for tonight's game. Let's take a look at the odds, Liv. What are you seeing here, and what do you like? Yeah, I like over 224 and a half in that Phoenix Lakers game. Uh, these are two top. These are two teams with top five pace. Offensively, both of these teams rank top ten in points scored per game. Defensively, the Lakers rank bottom five in points allowed per game. So I like this to be a high-scoring affair. And if we are riding that three by two on this three by Tuesday, then it's going to be a high-scoring hey. affair because we're going to cash that in the first three minutes. Lots of three balls going up and swishing in the net. So. I like this to be a high scoring affair. I'm taking over 224 and a half. Liv is rocking with the over in that game. I like that, Liv. I actually like that because I do see this one being a high scoring affair. Russell Westbrook is going to be uh, leading the Warriors tonight. And you know, Russ likes to get up and down the court. Uh, let me give away some hoodies. Let me give away some hoodies because I want to see what the people is riding with before I give my pick, Liv. Oh, BR Betting is in the comments saying Liv is a sharp. Shout out to BR Betting. Uh, Marquand B says Suns minus six and, a, six and a half to the moon. He's taking that bet to the moon. Shout out to you, Marquand. You are walking away with a hoodie. Uh, Kelly Not Ubre says guarantee Westbrook triple double. Liv, that'll be good for you because that means a lot of points if Russ is out there scoring out there passing out there rebounding uh so shout out to everybody that i mentioned you all are walking away with the hoodie but i'm gonna hop in here i'm gonna take a look at that indiana miami heat game i'm gonna rock with the indiana pacers money line simply because the heat are shorthanded they have a lot of injuries they have a lot of injuries to their team this uh this season a lot of guys been jump uh bouncing out like flies jumping out like flies uh so i'm gonna rock with the pacers and i'm gonna stay money line because i think this one's gonna be a close one so let's play it safe take the money line and uh let's keep it pushing man let's keep it pushing all right we talked major markets live now let's talk player props it's time for lock or not i'm gonna put up a prop i'm gonna put up a prop and i need all of you and i mean everybody in the comments to tell me whether it is a lock or it is not live i know you ready and I know the people in the ready. comments is ready. So let's just get right to it. Let's get right to it. First up, we got my man, LeBron James. That's how the little kids say it. They like to say the LeBron <laughs> James. We got LeBron James to have a double-double tonight, sitting at plus 110, Liv. Do you think this is a lock or do you think this is not a lock? I think it's a lock. And if you're looking at it just from like a storyline perspective, no AD, uh, the Suns handled business against the Lakers earlier this season. And I know LeBron doesn't want that to happen again, but from more of a statistic standpoint, he has hit a double-double in three of the last five. He had 25 points, five assists, and two rebounds the last time he played the Suns. 
I think his best bet to hit a double-double tonight is with points and with boards. And because AD is out, that gives him a lot more opportunities to get boards. And he's facing a Suns team that ranks bottom 10 in rebounds allowed to their opponents. So I think points and boards for him tonight, he's hitting this double-double. So I think it's a lock. Liv thinks it's a lock. I'm going to follow her. I think this is a lock too. But <laughs> instead of rebounds, Liv, instead of rebounds, I want you guys to look at the assist. I want you guys to look at the assist. Somebody mentioned, somebody mentioned Liv Russ triple double, but I want to talk about the possibility of a LeBron triple double. I love the rebounds, Liv, but I also think the assist is going to be there for LeBron. No AD. We mentioned it. It's going to be a high paced game. You're talking over. LeBron, what does he do? He facilitates the rock. I'm going to go with a lock here. I'm going to go with a lock here. But I want to see what you guys are talking. So I'm in the comments right now. I'm in the handy dandy iPad. Uh, I got AD, AD, IX, IX said, Lock City, throw away the king. It's LeBron. He puts up numbers. No AD. And LeBron wants his revenge tonight against the Suns and his boy, CP3. He's locking it in. Shout out to you, AD. Love, love the take. Uh, I got Brady. Brady's rocking with me. He says, uh, LeBron James triple double. In all caps live, lock. So he's rocking with LeBron James to score a triple-double. Uh, and Landon, Landon Floss is in the comments saying he cannot agree with you more, Liv. He's riding with you. So shout out to you, Landon, uh, for riding with Liv. Next up is D-Book. Next up is D-Book to score three or more three-pointers tonight, Liv. This is also plus money sitting at plus 124. Do you think this is a lock or do you think this is not? I feel like the public and the comment section is not going to like what I have to say, but I don't think this is a lock. I mean, he's this is only his second game back. He shot 33% from the three the last time that he played the Lakers. The Lakers opponents actually have the sixth lowest three-point percentage, so they have pretty solid perimeter defense. Again, LeBron James, this is a revenge game for him. They are going to buckle down on guys like Devin Booker that they know can shoot the ball, and they don't want a guy like D-Book to get hot because then that means trouble for the Lakers so I like the defense to be tough on him tonight I actually think this is not a lock I don't feel comfortable with it but I'd love to know how you feel about it Liv uh I'm gonna go the other way I'm gonna go the other way for a couple of reasons <laughs> we mentioned we mentioned the fast pace we mentioned fast pace up and down you like the over I think that this will be a fast paced game we know Cle uh we know the Suns like to play up and down the court and we know the Lakers are gonna have to run with no AD so I think this is going to be a fast-paced game. Usually in fast-paced games, that means more three-pointers are attempted. So I like that trend. And then I also want to talk about his last game. In his first game back, he put up eight threes, Liv. That's a lot. He put up eight threes. He made yeah. four. So he's putting them up. He's throwing them up. You can't be mad at if, if I'm betting on somebody to make threes, I want them to chuck up threes. So you can't be mad. D-Book might be chucking up some threes. So I'm going to say this one is a lock. And uh, I'm in the comments now. I'm in the comments because I want to see if you guys think that this is a lock or not. Oh, they are on your side. I got Kirk OLLO756 says, no, not a lock with a lot of stop sign emojis. Uh, I got... I got Money Merv. Money Merv is in the comments with a lot of X's not rocking with it. Uh, they not rocking with D-Book, man. They they on your side, Liv. They they rocking with you. Uh, but maybe Crowder. That's not maybe Crowder all. will get those threes. That's what I need for the over maybe on the Crowder. points. So Crowder Ooh. is the three guy tonight, hopefully. Y'all heard that. Liv just dropped a scoop for y'all. He said Crowder <laughs> is the three. Is that a lock or not? You guys let us know in the comments. But finally, we have CP3. You guys know how I feel about CP3. We call him the point god. Uh, CP3 to record 10 or more assists today. This one's not plus money, Liv. It's sitting at minus 130. Do you like this one? Do you think this is a lock or not? I do think it's a lock, and I think that's exactly why it's at minus 130. Obviously, the value's not as great as the other plays, but I do love this play for CP3. I think it's a lock. 
Like we've said, Devin Booker is back, so Chris Paul can kind of take a step back from that scoring role and really focus on the facilitating. He had 14 assists against the Lakers in their last meeting, and the Lakers are currently allowing the sixth most assists to their opponents. So I like Chris Paul, CP3, to be in that facilitator role tonight, and I think he hits, he hits 10-plus with no problems, so I think it's a lot. Liv thinks it's a lock, and uh, Liv, I'm right there with you. I'm going to nail, I'm going to put the hammer on the nail and just nail it in and drill it into you guys' head that this one is going to be a high-scoring affair. And with that, you know, with the high-scoring affair, there's a lot of ball movement. And we know who the point guy is, my guy CP3. Uh, so I, I see him going over 10 assists as well. So I'm going to lock that in. Let me see what the people are saying I got CJ Prince saying CP3 lock for assists. The Lakers defense is terrible. I could not agree with you more. Drea is in the comments, Liv. Drea says easy lock, easy lock. Shout out to everybody that I mentioned. You all are walking away with hoodies. Uh, Liv, I think it's the best time of the show. The time that everybody's been waiting for. It's time to build the BR betting custom parlay with you. Yes, you at home can ride along with us on FanDuel. Oh, and wow, FanDuel is doing something a little special, Liv. FanDuel is doing something a little special these days. Tell them what's up. Yeah, FanDuel is now giving you the chance to win even bigger on your same game parlays. You can now combine bets from multiple games into a same game parlay plus. That is the new new name, same game parlay plus. So get on FanDuel, be sure to check it out. You know that we are all about cashing out around here. So this is a perfect opportunity to do that. So head over to the FanDuel Sportsbook and let's get it started. Get it started in here. Yes, let's get it started. <laughs> uh, but tonight, 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 I'm building a same game parlay for Indiana versus Miami. And I need everybody, and I mean everybody, to get in the comments and tell me what they think, which legs are locks, which legs are not. Liv, are you ready? I am ready. I was born ready. Let's get into it. Liv's ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Y'all ready. Let's jump right into it. First leg of the parlay, we are talking about Malcolm Brogdon here, Liv. Malcolm Brogdon to get 20 points tonight. Please, please, please tell me you like this one. A little nervous about this leg. I'm not going to lie to you. Just a little nervous. He's only averaging 16 no. points in two games against the Heat this season. And the Heat right now allow the fewest out of any team in the league. They allow the fewest points to the opposing point guard position. So a little nervous for this one. But if he Lip. shows up and does his job and takes advantage of a Heat team that has a lot of guys out, he should be able to hit it. But I'm treading lightly with uh -huh. this one. I like the butt. You waited very, very late to drop the <laughs> butt. <laughs> and then you gave your take. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Duncan Robinson, let's move on. Let's move on. Hopefully this one can make you feel just a little bit more comfortable, Liv, because we want you to feel comfortable around here when we're giving out these parlays. We got Duncan Robinson, three plus three pointers. Do you like this? Do you not? Maybe so? Yes? No? I do. Um, I do like this one, and I'm going to tell you why. Obviously, he is a three-point shooter with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo both out. He's really had to step up as a scorer on this team. He's had four threes in both games against the Pacers this year, but I got to be honest. I'm going to be fully transparent with you on this one. Robinson in the bubble was a different breed of basketball player what? from the three, and we haven't what? really seen that since. So I get a little bit nervous betting on him. He's been a little bit inconsistent for me. I have been burned a few times on Duncan Robinson, but realistically, this should hit. This shouldn't have any problems. He's had four in both games against this team, and the Heat are out some pretty point, important guys that like to score. So he's going to have to hit this uh, in order for the Heat to hang in this one. But I always sweat a little bit with Robinson, just a little. No, you, you you have a really, really good point because in the bubble, they were comparing Duncan Robinson to Klay Thompson. And uh, I haven't seen any Klay Thompson uh, comparisons lately, but um, that they were comparing the two at one time. But hopefully Duncan can hit three for us tonight because he's going to be getting a lot of assists. A lot of assists from my guy who's up next in the parlay, Kyle Lowry live. We're going with Kyle Lowry to go eight or 
or no, eight or plus assists. Do you like that one? Do you, are you rocking with it? Are you rocking with Kyle? Yes, no? I love this leg of the parlay. I love it. He has had double digit assists in the last two games that he has played. And without Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, we have really seen Kyle Lowry step into that leadership facilitator role. You can tell that he's prioritizing scoring less and less and really just being a facilitator, which seems to be working for this Heat team. And he needs to continue to do that tonight if they want to hang in with this Pacers team. So I love this play. I think it is using the L word scares me sometimes, but I do think it's a lock and he should hit this without a problem. <laughs> and Liv doesn't like to use the L word. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that, that That's funny. I'm going to try to get you to say it more now simply because you told <laughs> yeah. me that you don't like to say it. But uh, let's talk about this last leg of the parlay, Liv, because this one I really, really love. I love this one a lot. We're talking about my guy, DeMontis Sabonis. 10 plus rebounds, Liv. Come on. give. I know you like this one. Love this one like is not big enough of a word i love this play anything with sabonis and rebounds i really like and i have made so much money betting his props whether it be points plus rebounds or just rebounds straight up i love this play uh he's hit this in four of the last five he averages 14 rebounds in two games against the heat this season it shouldn't be a problem i love it should not be a problem for my guy, DeMontis. Love the vibes from Liv. Now let's see <laughs> the ticket. Let's see the ticket. Let's see what we will be making if we was to put 100 down. We're going to be walking away with 483. I like that. Plus 483. Uh, Liv, before I get into the comments, what are you grading the BR betting parlay? Let's give it a solid B minus. You're still passing the class. Okay. I'm a little nervous about okay. Brogdon. Uh, Robinson okay. is hit or miss. When he shows up, he shows up. And when he doesn't, it's like he's sleepwalking sometimes. But I do like the legs. They should hit. Kyle Lowry, I love. Sabonis, I love. So I'm going to give it a B minus. You're still passing the class. It's a good parlay. Yeah. And the last time yeah. I gave a B minus, it cashed. So we're going to rock with the B minus this time. That yeah, I mean, we like I like we like to take you out of your comfort zone, Liv. Put you know, take <laughs> yes, you out of your do. comfort zone, get you feeling a little, just a little bit uncomfortable. And then last time we did that, you gave us a B minus, we won. So I don't dislike yep. this B minus. I don't dislike this B minus at all. Um, let me get into the comments because the producer just whispered in my ear, give away a jersey. So guess what? I'm giving away a jersey and I see AJ Beer 9. AJ Beer 9. His name is Austin. He gave us a B plus for the parlay. He gave us a fire emoji. So guess what, Austin? You are walking away with a jersey of your choice. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you for giving us the B plus and the fire emoji. I'm back into the comments, Liv, because I'm giving out hoodies now. I got Richie21 is here. And he says, Sabonis, Lowry, and Robinson, easy lock. Brogdon, more risky, but I think he hits it tonight. Those are great vibes, Ricardo. I am giving you a hoodie. I got one more in me, Liv. I got one more. G Quinn, 26. I give it an A minus only because Brogdon might not get 20 points, but I think three out of the four will hit for sure. Appreciate your good vibes. We appreciate your good vibes, but... <laughs> Brogdon's going to hit. Brogdon's going to hit. And we're going to put that into is. the atmosphere. We're going to manifest that. We're going to... Guys, send me sunsets. Send me sunsets in the comments. Good we need good vibes only. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good vibes only. GVOs. A lot of GVOs. My guy Mikey said it best. A lot of GVOs. Uh, but we asked you in the app, guys. We asked you in the app, who's your best bet to win it all? Get in the comments and tell us what do you think. Let's take a look at the current odds. Liv, talk to the people. Talk to me. What do you like here? I got to tell you, I am loving the Nets right now being ahead of the Warriors. It's giving the Warriors better value. I'm still riding with the Warriors to take care of business. And listen, this Nets team right now has too many 
questionable variables, right? I mean, we've got Kyrie Irving in conversation to join this team again. I'm not sure how that's going to throw off the chemistry. We've already got a James Harden that's saying he doesn't know his role on offense. Now you're going to add another ball (laughs) hog to the mix and try to figure out what offense looks like. It terrifies me. So I'm loving that Vegas likes the Nets right now in the lead because it's giving us better value for Golden State. So I would absolutely take the Warriors at plus 600 because I'm not sure the value will be that good again. So I'm going to grab it at plus 600. Yeah. That's a great, great point. We know Clay's coming back. We know Wiseman's coming back. Uh, we, we don't know if this the odds are going to stick at plus 600. I'm going to hop into the comments, though, because I want to know which way you guys are leaning. Uh, Liv, I'm in the comments. My guy Loso G-Ball. Loso says the Bulls is taking it all. Shout out to you, Loso. Uh, you are walking away with the hoodie. Big Face Coffee, Big Face Coffee 20 says the Miami Heat. Jimmy, Bam, Oladipo, Larry, Hero, Tucker, Scary Hours. Shout out to you, Jimmy. You're also walking away with the hoodie. Live. I see Landon. I gave Landon the hoodie earlier, but Landon is spamming us because he keeps on putting GSW. Those, I mean, GSW, that stands for the Golden State Warriors, and I'm going to stop right there giving away hoodies. (laughs) Everybody that I mentioned, you're walking away with a hoodie because my guy Landon mentioned the Golden State Warriors live. You mentioned the Golden State Warriors, and you guys at home know that that's my pick, but I want to focus on the Nets here. Let's pull the graphic back up because I want to focus on the Nets. They're sitting at plus. They're sitting at plus 260, and we don't even know if Kyrie's coming back. Liv, you talked about chemistry. You talked about them playing with each other. James Harden doesn't know his role. We, well, Kyrie's, we don't know if he's going to play home games or not. We, we, we don't even know if he's going to be able to practice in New York or not. Like, just think about the playoffs. Think about the playoffs. The playoffs, it get real interesting. It get real down to the nitty gritty and uh chemistry is going to be chemistry is going to be needed in order to win in the playoffs and the the nets they just have so many questions around them they just have so many questions around them so it's hard for me to lay plus 260 on the team with so many questions that's that's that that just doesn't click in my head so something that does click is the golden state warriors sitting at plus 600 and we have two starters two of them not one but two starters coming back into the fold so uh i like my chances with that plus 600 live let me i already hopped into the comments but i'm gonna hop back in there because i just want to see what they're talking about uh yep they're rocking with the warriors i got h on two says sons though H on two says sons uh go garden says winners only go garden also said trade Kyrie uh yeah Al Al Bisky Al B Silk says Lakers dark horse are dark horse don't count out LaBizzle he's still the king don't sleep uh shout out to everybody that I mentioned you guys are walking away with a hoodie besides go garden he i heard the producer just whispered into my ear that he has 50 hoodies so unfortunately go garden we cannot send you a hoodie we might send you a jersey i don't know but i think that's in that's the end of the show Liv. Uh, it's time to get on up out of here thank you guys for tapping into the group chat presented by FanDuel. remember what you learned today the Phoenix Suns, Los Angeles Lakers 3 by 2 is a lock. We are riding that. Get on FanDuel and tell the BR betting same game parlay and bet your own same game parlay plus. The Dubs, they're winning it all. Me and Liv, we're on the same wavelength with that. We are also dropping a special Christmas episode. So check it out on Christmas Eve right here in the BR app. If you want a hoodie today, we will DM you. Alongside Liv Moods, I'm Greg Ivory. Me and Liv, we leaving the group chat. Peace.